Ah, okay. So, this is now our second time na mag lecture about language of mathematics. This is mathematics of the modern world. Uh, I will turn on my presentation. Oops. Wait. A window. Share. Francesca, nakikita mo na yung aking presentation? Wala pa po, sir. Ah, wala pa. Wait lang. Nakikita mo yung screen natin, na? No? Nakikita mo yung sarili mo. Okay na po. Nakikita mo yung sarili mo. Apo. Okay, sige, sige. Apo, sir. Okay, sige. Uh, it imit na kita, ha? Imimit na kita. Thank you. Okay, so last time, we're done about our introduction of symbolic logic or mathematical logic. Uh, again, symbolic logic or mathematical logic is the science of or art of reasoning in terms of symbols. Okay, so nalaman natin yun yung definition one about proposition, negation, we're done about that. Uh, the logical operators conjunction disjunction uh, conditional statement or implication inverse converse and contrapositive and biconditional okay uh, sa biconditional statement dito tayo medyo nabitin kasi nga medyo nagkagulo last time but let's recap itong part na to. Ang biconditional statement, let's assign values. So this is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. According to your memory aid, your biconditional statement is true when the component propositions are logically equivalent to each other. When the component propositions are logically equivalent to each other. By con otherwise, by conditional statement is false. Okay. Now, dahil according to memory aid, magiging one daw ang by conditional statement kapag yung component propositions ay parehas ang truth value. So as you observe in row 1, this is 1, 1. So dahil parehas sila, this is, this is according to the memory aid, ha? 1. Then, itong row 2 is 1, 0, hindi pareha. So, otherwise, 0. Ito, this is again 0, this is 1. Now, kung paano nakuha yun, uh, ganito yon. Ang biconditional statement, oh, lagi ko lang sa taas muna. Ang biconditional statement, P if and only if Q. Ang tawag sa P, first proposition. Ang tawag sa P, first proposition. First proposition. Ang tawag sa Q, second proposition. Pero ang tawag sa P, tsaka sa Q, ay component propositions. So, importante yan. Na alam yung mga tawag ng bawat isa. Balikan natin yung nakaraan. Sa implication, ang tawag sa P, premise. Ayan, premise. Ang tawag sa Q, conclusion. Whenever P implies Q is given. Now, kung si P implies Q ang given, si P premise, si Q conclusion. Kung si Q implies P ang given, si Q ang pre kung premise at si P ang conclusion. No? Depende kasi sa position yon Hindi porkit nakita mo yung P, premise na siya. Kung P implies Q, ito yung premise, ito yung conclusion. Depende sa position. Okay, next is disjunction. Ang tawag sa P at sa Q, disjuncts. Ayan, nasa notes naman, disjuncts. Sa conjunction, ang tawag sa P and Q ay 
conjuncts. Ayan, nasa notes. Ngayon, kung gusto mo mag-review, kung mapapansin mo, in ko yung video natin last week na medyo na, na late kasi na na na, na nakalimutan kong uh, i-link sa inyo. Pero ang good news ngayon is pwede mong balikan lahat ng nakaraan gamit yung video na yon. Ito yung advantage ng new normal ng pag-aaral, especially sa subject natin. Okay? Okay, ngayon, papaliwanag ko kung bakit naging ganito to, naging ganito. Itong si P, if and only if Q. Okay, so may mga pumapasok pa. Okay, so, kapag si P, 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 if and only if Q, ang ibig sabihin niyan, kung mapapansin mo, by conditional. When we say by, ibig sabihin dalawa. Okay? Dalawang conditional statement. Mapapansin mo sa sa notes na to, ah, sa, sa symbol na to, dalawa nga. Merong, sorry. Ah, dalawa nga. Merong kang isang implication ng P implies Q that is from P going to Q at makikita mo tong symbol na to na nagsasabi na meron pang isang implication na Q implies P. Ngayon, kung paano yun, gamit yung ibang gamit yung ibang truth table kasi nakikita mo na dalawa na yung operations dito. Ito yung operation ng implication at ito yung operation ng conjunction. Ngayon, gamit yung isang row ng table na to let's say exhibit natin yung exhibit natin yung yung row number 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 2 row number 2 itong na, row number 2 exhibit natin tong row number 2 so in row number 2 your p is 1 your q is 0 ayo paano naging 0 yon paano naging 0 i-explain ko ha now I-substitute mo yung value ng P na pinag-uusapan. Si P, in row number 2, is 1. Implies, si Q naman ay 0. And, again, Q is Q is 0. Implies, P is 1. In row number 2, ha? Again, in row number 2. Chineko naman. Ayan, ito, ito, itong, itong row na to. Okay, now. Dahan-dahan, bobooy natin to. Busy not yet. Tinatanong ka kung ano yung ano yung truth value ng 1 implies 0. So balikan natin yung conditional statement ng 1 implies 0. No? Nandito 'yon, nandito 'yon. Kung mapapansin mo sa notes, kung nagdo notes ka, ha? nandito yung 1 0 that is 0. Okay, so 0 'yon, yung yung first na 'yon, yung first part ng nito. Ito. Bakit, bakit ko siya tinawag na first part? Ito kasi yun. Ito, ito, ito. Ayan. So, this is zero. This is zero. Ito naman. And, zero implies one. Zero implies one. Nasa third, third row yun. Makikita mo dito yun. Kung babalikan mo yung notes mo, yung zero, tsaka one, ay one. Okay. So, therefore, itong part na to, Oh, tatawagin kong second conjunct. Bakit ko tinawag na second conjunct? Ito kasi operation. Conjunction. So, the second part, o oh, yung proposition after ng conjunction symbol, ang tawag dyan, ay second conjunct. Yung truth value ng second conjunct mo, ay 1. Ay 1. 1. Ngayon, ito na yung natira. 0 and 1. Ngayon, para malaman mo yung truth value niyan, balikan mo yung conjunction. Balikan mo yung conjunction. Yung conjunction natin, dito yung 0 and 1. Nandito yung 0 and 1. Third, third row yun. 0, 1. Ang sagot dyan, 0. Uh, napaliwanag ko na yun last time. Okay, so therefore, ang ibig sabihin, this is 0. Kung zero yan, ang ibig sabihin, yung second row, dapat zero yung truth value. At ito yun. Tama. Okay? Okay, you can do that in every row ng ating biconditional statement. And this is the only, only operation na hindi ako nagbigay ng real life example. Okay? Ginamit ko na yung mga nauna. Itong mga to. 
para kunin yung truth value niya. And by the way, you are guided by the memory aid. Bawat logical operator may kanya-kanyang memory aid. And I assume na nag-aaral ka. And sorry for the late na paglink ng video, video one natin. Pero again, hawak mo na. Pwede mong balik-balikan kung may na hindi ka naiintindihan. Okay. Okay, now, I hope you understand that. So, tapos na tayo sa logical operators. Ngayon. Again, ang logical operators, apat. Nandyan ang conjunction, disjunction, conditional statement or implication, at saka by conditional statement. Hindi yan lima. Ano yung pang lima? Dapat. Hindi ito kasama hindi ito kasama sa logical operator. Dahil, ang logical operator ay nangyayari sa P and Q na propositions. Dito, si P lang ang proposition dito. Pag sinabing operator, you are operating at least two. Okay? Ngayon, mapapansin mo, bakit ang haba nito? Ang tawag dito, ito, 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 ang tawag dito, ang tawag dito, ay yung susunod na definition. Okay. Now, definition number 7. Definition number 7. Uh, a propositional form is a finite sequence of propositions and logical operators which will result to a proposition. Ulitin ko. A propositional form is a finite sequence of propositions and logical operators. A final is a finite sequence of propositions and logical operators which will result to a proposition. Okay? Okay. Ang ibig sabihin nun, kapag sinabing propositional form, dapat makakita ka ng propositions at saka logical operators na kung saan na pag pinagsama mo yun, magiging isang proposition na wala yung S. Yan ang ibig sabihin nun. Ah, sorry, sinisipon ako eh. Ha? Okay. Now, example tayo. Example. Example. Papalta ko ng kulay ng ink. Ah, ay, blue. Blue tayo. Blue. Okay. Example. Can you consider Uh, this P implies Q as propositional form. Now, kung babalikan natin yung definition ng propositional form, a propositional form is a finite sequence of propositions. May proposition ba dito? Meron. Si P tsaka si Q propositions. Propositions. <laughs> And logical operators, may logical operator ba? Yes, implication is the logical operator. Which will result to a proposition. And yes, this will result to a proposition. Paano ko nasabi? Okay. Nagiging isang proposition ang P implies Q. Kahit ang components niya ay dalawang propositions. Nandun niya sa definition. Okay. Ah... Uh... Let P and Q be propositions, the conjunction, the conditional statement of or implication of P implies Q, P and Q, denoted by P implies Q, uh, read as P implies Q is a proposition if P then Q is a proposition. Ito yung pinaka-importante. Nagsimula sa dalawa, naging isa. Ayun. So, ito ay considered na propositional form. Okay? Ulitin ka. Meron siyang propositions at meron siyang logical operator sa propositional form yan. Aside from that, lahat ng pinag-usapan natin, yung, yung P and Q, yung P or Q, tsaka yung P if and only if Q are propositions with two propositions. Propositional, sorry, propositional form with 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 two propositions and 
one logical operators okay so that is that is your propositional form okay now hindi lahat ng propositional form ganyan ka simple kung mapapansin mo sabi ko nga kanina ito itong mahabang to propositional form yan okay ngayon pag-usapan natin yung propositional form na hindi hindi lang dalawa gawin natin tatlo muna tatlo now example tayo example number 2 Example number two, we have P implies Q implies R. Uh, kung mapapansin mo, uh, dahil tatlo na yan, dahil tatlo na yung ating propositions, nagkaroon ako ng tinatawag na grouping symbol. Okay? Importante yan yung grouping symbol sa mathematics. O, bakit gano-gano ka-importante yan? For example, 2x plus 3 ay hindi equal sa 2 times Kaya quantity x plus 3, hindi sila equal. Hindi sila equal. Itong 2 na to, para lang sa x, hindi siya para kay 3. Pero ito, on the other hand, this 2 is applicable to the whole x plus 3. Kung mapapansin mo, ang pagkakaiba lang ng dalawa ay grouping symbol. Pero because of the grouping symbol, uh, nagkakaproblema or hindi sila nagiging equal. Even though yung sequence may 2, yes, may x, may plus, may 3, parehas. Pero may grouping symbol to. So, importante, oh, sa madaling salita, importante na ang grouping symbol kapag meron kang tatlo. Okay? Tatlong propositions. Bakit siya sa taas? Walang grouping symbol. Kasi dalawa lang to. Oh, in reality, in, 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 in your part, siguro naman, hindi ka naman papa, wala naman pagkakaiba yung 2 plus 3 ay equal sa quantity 2 plus 3. Kaya lang, hindi natin, hindi natin ginagamit to dahil wala ka namang ginugroup. You are using grouping symbol because you, you, need, you need grouping. You need priority. Kung ano yung mauuna. Okay? Ito, hindi mo kailangan mag-grouping symbol sa 2 plus 3. Kasi wala namang ibang gagawin kung hindi 2 plus 3. Ganun yun. Okay, ngayon. Uh, may problema ba, sir, kung magkaiba ng grouping symbol? O sige, check natin. I-check natin to. Uh, tignan natin, check natin kung if there's a problem. Okay, so let's try to compare. Compare natin. Compare natin yung P implies quantity Q implies R. And quantity P implies Q implies R. Uh, as you observe, magkaiba sila ng grouping symbol. Magkaiba sila ng grouping symbol. Okay. Ngayon, I will call this 1. Then this is 2. Okay. Exhibit natin yung 1. Gawa tayo ng assignment. Let P is 0. Q is 0. And R is 0 what will happen? P implies quantity Q implies R uh, is now is now because P is 0 because P is 0 so this is 0 implies, by the way, you, you, need, to, you need this one uh, logically equivalent. If P is 0, and assignment 0, quantity Q is also 0, implies R is also 0. Okay? Okay. Now, let's evaluate. Okay. Balikan mo na lang yung notes mo kapag uh, uh, i-verify mo siya sabihin ko. So, i i ang priority dito yung nakagrouping. So, ito muna i-evaluate natin. So, kukopihin ko muna yung 0 implies. If you evaluate 0 implies 0, that is what? That is Sorry, sorry for that. That is 1. So, there's nothing to group kasi wala nang i-group. Okay? And 0 implies 1 will give you 1. So, that's the first result ng number 1. So, number 2. So, number 2. So, number 2. Ah, uh, ito yung number 2. 
quantity quantity p implies q implies r Sub substitute same assignment quantity 0 implies 0 close implies 0 so this is this is the priority priority natin to so let's evaluate 0 implies 0 kung bibig titignan mo yung notes mo that is 1 then implies copy and take note that 1 implies 0 is the only case where the implication is 0 okay oh, sige balikan natin sa memory aid na lang ang sabi ng memory aid implication or conditional statement is false if the premise is true and the conclusion is false this is false oops this is false because the premise is true and the conclusion is false so this is false now compare mo ito tsaka ito parehas naman sila magkaiba lang ng grouping symbol pero iba ang sagot so that's the reason kung bakit kailangan natin ng grouping symbol okay that's the reason kung bakit kailangan natin ng grouping symbol okay since video naman to at i-upload ko rin naman yung recording nito dahil na naka-record naman tayo wait check ko nga check ko muna okay naka-record tayo uh, so para magkaroon ako ng space dito magbuburahin ko na yung mga sinulat ko under this propositional form ha Okay lang yan kasi be, again video to video. Okay. Now, erase ako. So maliwanag yan ha bago ko burahin. Sa so, definition number 7, pinag-uusapan natin yung propositional form. Nagbigay ako ng example ng propositional form na may dalawang propositions at isang logical operator. Wala nang s by the way. In this part. In this part. Kasi nga isa lang yung logical operator. Okay. Erase natin yung S. Okay. Now, sa number 2, binigyan kita ng propositional form. This time, may tatlo kang propositions. Tatlo. Isa, si P. Dalawa, si Q. Pangatlo, si R. Ngayon, tatlo yung propositions mo. Kung tatlo yung propositions mo, kailangan mo ng dalawang logical operator to connect them. And also, dahil tatlo na yan, kailangan mo ng, ng grouping symbol. Yung grouping symbol natin ay magiging importante yan later. Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na main operator at sub-operators. Okay, i-exhibit ko yan, pero magbubura muna ako dito. Hmm, hirap pala magbura dito. If you have questions, just open your mic, ha? Okay, siguro, siguro okay na muna itong part na to. Isa lang yung binira ko. Okay. Okay. Now, ito, yung, ito naman yung example ng propositional form na may apat na propositions. For example, meron kang P implies Q and quantity R if and only if W. Okay. Ngayon. Apat yung propositions mo. P, Q, R, W. Dahil apat yung propositions mo, kailangan mo ng tatlong logical operators. Ito yung tatlo. Implication, conjunction, by conditional statement. So, yun yung tatlo. 
Now, uh, dahil tatlo yan, dahil apat yung logical, dahil apat yung propositional form, uh, propositions mo sa loob ng propositional form, mapapasin mo, you need, that, you need three logical operators. Kanina, meron kang tatlo, kailangan mo ng dalawa. Yung mga, yung binura ko, meron kang dalawa, kailangan mo ng isa. Okay, now, by, in general, in general, in general, the number of propositions in propositional form is is always is always greater than greater than by 1 compare compare to the number of logical operators wow, ulitin ko ito apat yung proposition tatlong logical operators so lamang ng isa Kaya sabi ko, greater than by 1. etong nasa baba, yung hindi ko binura, meron kang tatlong logical at tatlong propositions, kailangan mo ng dalawa. Okay? Yung binura ko, dalawang propositions, kailangan mo ng isa. Ito yung note ko. Pero mathematically, if the number, if the number of propositions Uh, in PF is N, then the number of logical operators is N minus 1. Lang, lamang, ng, lamang ng isa. Pwede itong, pwede rin, pwede rin N plus 1 to, kung N plus 1 to, eto N lang. Lamang siya ng isa. Okay? Okay, ngayon. Ngayon, alam mo na ngayon, at this point, alam mo na, kilala mo na, medyo, medyo kilala mo na kung ano yung propositional form. Importante to na dapat alam mong kumilatis ng propositional form. Hindi pa tayo tapos sa mga characteristics ng propositional form. At this point, alam mo pa lang yung bilang ng propositions compare sa bilang ng logical operators sa propositional form. Okay, ngayon. Kapag, kapag, Nasa propositional form ka. Ito yung ito yung kinds ng propos ito yung kinds ng logical operator inside propositional form. Sulat ko. Kinds of logical operators in propositional form. Dalawa yan. Meron tayong tatawaging main operator at meron tayong tatawaging sub operators. Okay. Ano ba ang main operator? Main operator is an operator outside the grouping symbol. Okay. So, asino si main? Si main operator, walang S, ibig sabihin, nag-iisa lang yan ay yung operator sa loob ng propositional form na nasa labas ng grouping symbol. In, the, in this example, ito yung main operator. Ito yung main operator. Bakit ko natawag na main operator tong end na to? Hindi palaging end, ha? In this case only. Siya yung main operator kasi. Siya yung operator na nasa labas ng grouping symbol. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman ang sub-operators? Of course, that is the negation of the statement of main operator. Kung si, kung si main ay nasa labas at sinabi kong nasa, negation siya, kabaliktaran, ito yung sub-operators are operators outside no, no, no. Inside the grouping symbol. So, in this case, ang sub-operators natin, ang sub-operators natin, ang sub-operators natin ay ito at ito. 
dalawa. Okay? Okay, good. Uh, alam na natin kung ano yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Oh, by the way, ang sub-operators ay may S. So, pinapayagan na ang sub-operators ay mas marami kaysa sa isa. Ang main operator walang S. So, ibig sabihin, ang main operator ay unique. Pag sinabing unique, oh, alam mo na yon, nag-iisa lang sa loob ng propositional form. Okay. Okay. Now, iyan yung isa pang karakteristik ng propositional form. Iyan pa yung isang karakteristik ng propositional form. Na kailangan kapag more than three propositions or two propositions, more than two propositions, kailangan na ng grouping symbol. At kapag nagkaroon ng grouping symbol, may papasok na klase ng operators. Yun nga yung main at yung sub. Okay. Tuloy natin. Okay. Tuloy natin. Okay. Now. Okay. Second example. Second example. Ang second example natin ay yung P implies uh, Q and R Uh, or W if and only if A. Ayan. Dito, check natin yung alam na natin karakteristik. The first thing na i-check mo is yung number ng propositions. We have P, Q, R, W, tsaka A. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, So, lima yung propositions mo. So, sabi ko nga dito, kung lima, lamang siya ng isa. So, we are expecting na dapat, na dapat, apat lang ang logical operators. Bilang natin. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Again, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Tama, apat. Okay. Apat yung logical operators. Dahil more than dahil more than to, more than to ng two propositions, may grouping symbol siya dapat, meron naman nakikita ko. At kung may grouping symbol siya, madidistinguish natin yung main at saka yung sub. Ang main operators dito, ang main operators dito ay ang main operator, sorry, without s. Ang main operator dito ay tung by conditional statement na to. Bakit? Ba't siya main operator? Kasi siya yung nasa labas ng grouping symbol. At ito yung mga sub. Ito yung mga sub operators. Ito yung mga sub operators. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Yan yung mga sub operators. Okay? Okay, so at that, at that point, alam na natin na medyo okay to. Ngayon, mayroon pa akong isang sasabihin uh, tungkol sa main tsaka sub. Now, I will give third example. Third example. I will change the color. Going back to blue. Okay. Number three. Ito. Ito example na to. Nangyari lang P implies Q and R uh, if and only if w ito ba ay ito ba ay propositional form okay go check natin apat yung propositions tapos tatlo yung logical operators check tama yon may apat kang propositions may tatlo kang logical operators check ngayon i-check natin kung may grouping may grouping sir check kung may grouping dapat may sub may main may main sir at may sub Okay. So, at this point, okay. Okay naman. Kaya lang, ang problema, ang problema is, ito yon. Kapag nawala yung main, oh, let's say, nawala yung main, burahin ko yung main. Kung buburahin ni sir yung main, of course, buburahin ko yung W. Kasi hindi po pwede may W dyan, pero walang operator. 
Okay? Oh, another thing is, may W ka, so apat sila, pero dalawa lang yung logical operator mo. Mali. Okay. Now, kung mapapansin mo, dahil nawala na yung W sa labas, buburayin ko itong grouping na to. Ngayon, dapat, yung result noon, maayos pa rin. Propositional pa rin na may main at may sub. At this point, makikita mo na wala ng main at wala ng sub. Paano ko nasabi? Based sa definition, the main operator, operator without S, is an operator outside the grouping symbol. Meron na, wala akong grouping symbol, so I assume outside yung dalawang to, that's violation. Number one, dapat isa lang ang main operator. Okay? So, anong ibig kong sabihin? Ang ibig kong sabihin ganito. Sa pag-alis ni main operator, dapat may, may mayroong main pa rin. Oh, kagaya nito, kagaya nito. Sulat ko ulit. Yung number two. Yung number two is... Yung number two... Yung number two is quantity P implies Q and R or W if and only if A. Oh, sige, tila mo ha. Dahan-dahan. Tanggalin ko yung main. Erase ako ha, erase. Tanggalin ko yung main, tinanggal ni sir. Gaya na sabi ko, hindi po pwede yan. Kasi, Paano mangyayari i-coconnect natin yung A ng walang operator sa matatanggal to? Kung matatanggal to, wala ka nang ginogroup sa labas, tatanggalin mo to. Ngayon, ang tanong, may main pa rin ba? Yes, may main pa rin. Ito yung ngayon, yung main. Tanggalin mo yan. Tanggalin yung W, tanggalin yung grouping symbol. May main pa ba? Yes, ito yung ngayon, yung main. O, tanggalin mo yan. Tanggalin mo yan. Tatanggalin ko to. Tatanggalin ko yung grouping. Kaya mo pa rin i-evaluate May main pa ba? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. May main pa ba? Yes. May sub pa ba? Yes. Kapag if you are dealing with two propositions, yung main mo tsaka sub mo, isa lang. Parehas lang. Kapag dalawa ha, Okay. Kung mapapansin mo, habang nagbubura ako ng main, may nag i stand as main. O, in reality, ganito yan. Let's example, kung aalis ang presidente, may pupuntahan siya. May pupuntahan siya meeting or conference or summit sa ibang bansa. Pwede yun, nangyayari yun eh. Uh, sa pag-alis niya, hindi naman magugulo yung Pilipinas eh. May mag i stand as main. Uh, technically, dapat ang vice president. Okay. Umalis yung president, may vice president. Let's say, umalis yung vice president, may senate president. Umalis lahat ng, umalis yung senate president, may mag stand na isang senator. May magbobotohan sila kung sino. O, let's say, umalis lahat ng senador, may mga congressman. Pag umalis ang congressman, mga congressman, Andiyan ang mayor. Umalis lahat ng mayor, andiyan ang barangay captain. Umalis lahat ng barangay captain, andiyan ang barangay kagawad. Sorry, before barangay captain, andiyan ang mga councilor, andiyan ang mga kagawad. Kung aalis yung mga barangay captain, andiyan ang mga barangay kagawad. Kung umalis yung barangay kagawad, andiyan ang nanay mo. O umalis ang nanay mo, andiyan ang tatay mo. O umalis yung tatay mo at nanay mo, andiyan ang kuya mo. Pag umalis yung kuya mo, ikaw na lang matira mag-isa. Hindi ka, mag, hindi ka magiging magulong mag-isa. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Okay? I hope you understand the, the reference ng main at saka sub. Okay? Okay, good. Now, yun yung mga characteristics na dapat natin tandaan sa isang propositional form. Okay? Yun yung mga characteristics. Okay, so balik ako sa, sa room. Okay, pag-usap muna ako. Uh, Iverson, open your mic, please. Sir. Kamusta? Naiintindihan ba ako? Apo, sir. Okay. Pasensya na, sinisipon ako. Ha? Okay. Sorry, sabi nga ako sa atin ng mic. 
Kanina pa akong gusto mag-glow, kaya lang, nagkasalita ako. Okay, uh, kamusta? Naiintindihan mo? Apo, sir. Ayos naman ang tatin ko. Apo, sir. Okay lang po. Malinaw po. Malinaw. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you ha. Ako na mag-mute sa'yo, Iverson ha. Ako na mag-mute sa'yo. Okay. Uh, let's let's try si Miss Mr. Uh, tis, Tony Zol. Tony Zol. Iverson, op, wag mo nang open yung mic mo. Mute na. Amusta? Okay lang po, sir. Naintindihan ako? Opo. Mariwanag ba ako magpaliwanag? Liwanag naman po. Oo, oh, oh, malabo ako magpaliwanag. <laughs> malabo magpaliwanag. Ayos naman. Okay, sige. Salamat, ha? Salamat. Thank you. Mute kita. Ako na, ako na mag-mute sa'yo. Pag ganyan, ako na mag-mute. Okay, let's try Miss Kalinawan. Hello, Iha. Hello, Patricia. Kamusta? Okay, good. Na, na, ayos naman, Patricia. Okay, very good, very good. Ah, uh, Patricia, at sa lahat ng mga classmate mo, nagka-trouble tayo kanina uh, pag-connect. Nagka-problema ako, kaya nalita ko ng konti. Ha? Pero, again, nag-lecture na tayo yan. At bawi yan. Mabawiin ko yan. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, dito na. Mag maganda na ang part na to. Ulitin ko ha. Recap tayo. Recap, 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 recap. Nasa yung lecture ko. Ayun. Nasa lecture 1 na pa rin tayo. Pero mahaba talaga to. Hindi pwede madaliin to. Hindi maiintindihan. Importante sa pagiging BS mat mo to. Or sa pagkuha mo ng mathematics of the modern world. Okay. Now. So, i-recap natin. Ang definition number 7. I think this is very... Uh, big definition na kailangan nating pagtuunan ng pansin kasi diyan uli magkisimula ang lahat. Parang yan si proposition. Diyan nagsimula. Si proposition, number one. Matagal din tayo nag-explain dyan. Okay, balikan natin yung i-recap natin. Meron kang propositional form, dapat meron kang finite sequence. Pag sinabing finite sequence, magkakasunod na nabibilang na propositions and logical operators na nagiging isang proposition. So, kung meron kang finite sequence, pwede kang magkaroon ng dalawang, tatlo, apat, lima, and so on. Ngayon, dapat alam mo, alam mo yung number ng propositions sa number ng logical operators. Ganun yun. Ah, na laging lamang siya ng isa kaysa sa logical operators. Okay? Okay. Now, kapag meron kang tatlong logical operators, tatlong main tatlong propositions kailangan mo ng grouping symbol kailangan mo ng grouping symbol kapag may grouping symbol ka na may lalabas na main at saka sub operators okay now uh, kapag nasa main at sub ka na kailangan may order ang iyong operators hindi po pwedeng sa pag-alis ni main wala nang mag-stand as main. You need to check that. Okay? Kung, kung, sa, kung baga sa, sa ano, kailangan mong i-check mabuti bago tayo magsimula ng mga kinds. Okay? Okay. Bago tayo magpunta ng kinds, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yung position or location. Okay? Bigyan kita ng simpleng example. Okay? Uh, simpleng example. Okay. Ang tawag dito ay Location of proposition. Location of propositions inside propositional form. If I use PF, that is propositional form. If I'm using GS, that is grouping symbol. Okay? Okay. Paano ba mag-locate? Bigyan kita. Given. Given. If given is P implies Q and R, Uh, or S. Yan. yan. Yan muna. So, good ba yan as propositional form? Main operator, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, apat propositions. 1, 2, 3, tatlo logical operators, good. May grouping symbol, good. May main operator, good. Sa pag-alis ni main operator, may mag-main, good. 
Okay, so this is a very good example of propositional form. But today, uh, at this point, ang pag-uusapan natin, location. Okay, nasaan si P? Hindi na ma, susulat ko muna. Tsaka ko papaliwanag. P is the premise of the first conjunct of the first disjunct of the propositional form. That is the location of P. That is the, the location of P. That is the location of P. Paano ko nasabi? Magbago tayo ng kulay. Iba-ibang kulay ang gagamitin natin. Dito ka muna. Nandito si P, di ba? In terms of this, si P ay premise. Premise. So, P is the premise of the bago ng kulay. Orange. In terms of this, in terms of this, nandito si P, di ba? Sa, sa, sa part na to. Siya ay first conjunct. Ito conjunction to, yung. Siya ay first conjunct. So, P is the premise in terms of red of the first conjunct in terms of orange. Okay? Ngayon, dito. Bago ulit. Let's say this green. In terms of this, ito, nandito si P, sa part na to, siya ay nasa first disjunct. Ito, first disjunct yan. Kasi disjunction to eh. So, first disjunct yan. So, where is P? P is the premise of the first conjunct of the first disjunct of the propositional form. So, kailangan ka mag, mag, magkakaroon ng of the propositional form pag naabot mo na yung main operator. Ito yung main operator. Of the propositional form na yun. Okay? Okay, let's try where is R. Ah, hindi ko na susulat pero again, mapapanood mo naman to kung sakali. R is the second conjunct of the first disjunct of the propositional form. That is the location of R. Where is S? S is the second disjunct of the propositional form. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So that is your that is your uh, location. Okay? Hindi tayo magtatagal dyan. Ang importante, meron na tayong example. Sinabi ko na kung nasaan si P, uh, si CR, tsaka si S. Kumpletuhin ko na. Where is Q, sir? Q is the conclusion. That is the conclusion. Q is the conclusion of the first conjunct of the first disjunct of the propositional form. That's the, that's the location of Q. Okay? Pwede nyo practicein. Pwede nyo pag-aralan. Pwede nyo balik-balikan ng video once the video is uploaded. Okay. Next. So, ang propositional form parang tao. Tinuruan kitang kumilatis physically. Ito yung physical appearance ng ating propositional form. At nandito sila. May address ang propositional form. May location. Okay? Parang tao, no? May appearance. So, ibig sabihin, pag nakakita ka ng propositional form na dalawa ang main operator, hindi tama yun. Para kang nakakita ng tao na dalawa ang dalawa ang bibig, hindi tama yun. Kaya dalawa ang ulo, tatlo ang ulo, hindi tama yun. Tatakbo ka dun. Yun na sigurado. Nakasalubong mo yun, takbo ka. Yan, pag nakasalubong ka ng propositional form na may dalawang main operator, takbo ka na sa akin. Sir, baka may mali sa grouping. Ganon. Okay? Pwede ka magtanong. Okay, so, now, gaya na sabi ko, ito ay parang tao. So, ang tao ay may appearance, may location, kung saan nakatira, at may ugali. At ito ang ugali ng propositional form. Ang propositional form ay may klase. Kinds. Okay? Definition number eight. 
A propositional form, which is always true, is called tautology. Tautology. Okay? May dalawang klase ng tautology. May dalawang klase ng tautology. Yung tautological implication, tsaka tautological equivalence. Dalawang klase. Tautological implication and tautological equivalence. Mamaya natin pag-uusapan yan. Tandaan mo lang muna itong tautology. Ang tautology ay propositional form na laging tama. Kung baga sa tao, ang tao, may, may, may ugali yan. Ito mabait to. Laging tama ang ginagawa. Sinasabi, mabait na propositional form. Tautology. Mabait na tao. Ano ba mabait na tao? Mabait na tao is laging tama ang ginagawa at sinasabi. Uh, is tautology. Sa propositional form. Tautology yung counterpart nun. Okay? Mamaya natin pag-usapan itong dalawa. Next is absurdity. Absurdity. Absurdity is a propositional form which is always false. Laging mali. So, kung sa tao to, ito yung tao na laging laging mali ang ginagawa at sinasabi. So, masamang tao to. Kung ganun ang gawain niya. Ito naman, para sa akin, dahil nga laging mali, Absurdity is the representation ng masamang tao. Ito naman yung masamang propositional form. Okay? The third kind is contingency. 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 Ang contingency is a propositional form which is neither true, neither, neither tautology nor absurdity. At ang maganda to. Ang contingency daw ay propositional form na hindi palaging tama at hindi rin palaging mali. Yan yung, kumbaga sa tao, yan yung normal na tao. Ah, paano ko nasabing normal na tao? Ang lahat ng tao, hindi po pwedeng magmalinis na wala siyang ginagawang masama. In some way or some time, nakakagawa tayo ng masama. Pero hindi ko naman sinasabing laging masama or laging mali ang ating ginagawa. Yumagawa rin naman tayo ng tama. Ito yung natural. Kumbaga sa tao, ito yung ikaw. Okay? Ito, maraming makaka-relate yan sa contingency. Itong contingency ay propositional form na neither tautology, ano ba tautology? Laging tama. Na, nor absurdity, laging mali. So, yun yung tatlong klase ng propositional form. Ngayon, paano ko malalaman? Paano ko malalaman? Paano ko malalaman? Uh, kung... Ano yung, ano yung propositional form sa tatlo? Sa tatlo na yan. Okay? So, para malaman ko, gagamit ako ng technique. Uh, ito yon Gagamit ako ng technique. At tatawagin ko itong truth table technique or TTT. This is a method used to determine the kind of the given propositional form with the use of tables. Okay. Subukan natin. Bigay tayo example. Gawa tayo example. Oops. Kulay green. Let's use blue. Okay. So, example tayo. So, example. Determine the kind of propositional form. Okay. Number one. P uh, or Q implies P not P implies Q. Okay. Ganito yan, ha? Ganito yan. Ah, para malaman ko kung ito ay anong klaseng propositional form, gagamitin ko to, 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 to Gagamitin ko itong uh, truth table technique. So, the first thing na gagawin mo is bilangin mo yung letters na nakikita mo. So, dalawa lang yung letters na nakikita ko. Iba yung letters, iba yung propositions. Pag sinabi kong bilangin mo yung propositions na nakikita mo, apat yan, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pero pag sinabi kong bilangin mo yung letters na nakikita mo, uh, dalawa lang yan, si P at si Q. Okay, si P at Q. Okay, table to table. Ang hirap. Okay. 
Okay, so sa, sa truth table, meron tayong assignment na 1, 1, 1, 0, Okay. Ngayon, ito yung premise ng propositional form. Kaya mo bang gawin yung P or Q? Okay. Yes, magagawa mo yan. Kasi, P or Q. May P ka na, may Q ka na. Okay? Ngayon, ano ang value ng P or Q kapag si P ay 1 at si Q ay 1? That is 1. Again, you can go back to the notes. Ano ang value ng P or Q kapag si P ay 1 at si Q ay 0? Is still 1 yan. Kapag si P ay 0 at si Q ay 1, 1 yan. Kapag si P ay 0, si Q ay 0 din. That is the time na mag-0. Oh, sige, balikan natin. Kung disjunction yan, ha? sabi dyan sa disjunction, sa memory 8, disjunction is true for at least one disjunct is true. Otherwise, disjunction is false. Magiging tama daw yung disjunction kapag meron daw isang disjunct na tama. Ito, may tamang disjunct, may tama, may tama. Ito, wala. Kaya naging zero. And again, you need to memorize or be familiarized doon sa ating ba mga truth table. Okay, good. So, tapos ka na sa premise ng propositional form. By the way, this is the premise of the propositional form. Okay? Ngayon, punta tayo sa conclusion ng propositional form. Ito yung buong to ay conclusion ng propositional form. Kaya mo na bang gawin yan? Hindi pa. Bakit hindi pa? Kasi wala pa akong not be. So, bago mo gawin yung buong conclusion ng propositional form, you need to determine this component. Okay. Now, paano makukunin yung not be? You can determine not be given p. At alam natin yan. When P is 1, not P is 0. When P is 1, not P is 0. When P is 0, not P is 1. When P is 0, not P is 1. Ganun yun. Okay? Ngayon, kaya mo na bang gawin yung not P or Q? Meron ka na bang not P? Yes, ito yun. Meron ka bang Q? Yes, ito yun. So, kailangan mong i-evaluate yung not P or Q. Not P implies Q. Take note, implies na. So, meron kang not P, 0, row number 1. Implies Q, 1. So, 0, take note ha, magsimula tayo sa not P, papuntang Q. 0 implies 1 is 1. 0 implies 0 will give you 1 again. 1 implies 1 will give you 1 again. 1 implies 0 will give you 0. Saan ko kinukuha yun? Sa mga naunang truth table. O, subukan natin. Ibalik sa memory aid. Conjunction yun. So, implication or conjunctions. Conditional statement is true, is false. Is false if the premise is true and the conclusion is false. So, kapag yung premise mo tama, ito, at ang conclusion mo mali, ito, ang implication ay mali. Otherwise, ito yung mga yun. <coughs> Excuse me. Tama yung implication. And again, pwede mong balikan yan kasi sa inyo yung video. Okay? Now, kung mapapansin mo, kaya ko nang buuin, kaya ko nang buuin ang aking propositional form. Meron na akong P or Q, ito yon. Meron na akong not P implies Q, ito yon. So, susulat ko yung buo. Pero ang haba nun. So, ang gagawin ko, maglilet ako. Maglilet ako ng symbol. Let star is logically equivalent to P or Q. And let diamond be logically equivalent to not P implies Q. Wala na yan. Wala ng grouping. Wala ng grouping kasi well, there's nothing to group. Okay? Ngayon, imbis na isulat ko, instead of writing the whole of this, I can write the representation. Sabi dito sa aking let, si P or Q star. So, instead of writing P, P or Q, I will write star. Implies 
Not P or implies Q is diamond. Implies diamond. So, makakatulong yan para hindi ka na humaba yung table. Okay? Okay, so what's that? Uh, eto ngayon si star. Inote natin. Ito yung star. Ito yung diamond. Tanda mo yung ating from tsaka to, ha? From star going to diamond. Okay? That is implication. So, what is what is what is 1 sorry sorry star 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 to diamond what is 1 imply 1 that is 1 what is 1 imply 1 that is 1 what is 1 implies 1 that is 1 what is 0 imply 0 that is also 1 take note that this is our pf that is our pf ito yung given and mismo yon and mapapansin mo na yung ating PF ay palaging tama. There's no case na, mas, na, na nag-zero siya. Lagi siyang, in any case, lagi siyang tama. So, ang tawag dito, tautology. Ayun. Ganun mag-truth table. Ang pag-truth table ay dahan-dahan. Pag hindi mo pa kaya, gawin mo muna yung component. Parang paggawa ng bahay step by step. Hindi po pwedeng mauna yung bubong kaysa sa sa kisame. Okay? Una, ah, hindi, hindi. Mauna yung bubong kaysa sa pader. Hindi pwede yun. Kailangan dahan-dahan hanggang sa mabuo mo siya. Okay? Okay. Uh, that's tautology. Ngayon, in the case of nag-truth table ka, ganun nga, tapos Tapos, ang lumabas dito, hindi pure 1. Ang lumabas, pure 0. Oh, absurdity yon Absurdity. Pag pure 0. Absurdity, ang tawag doon. So, kung sakali namang hindi pure 1 at hindi rin pure 0, may mga 1, may mga 0, ang tawag doon, contingency. Okay? Oh, observe natin ito. Ito. Tautological implication is a propositional form. Where the primary or the main operator is implication and tautology. Kung titignan mo, ito ay propositional form na ang, ma ang main operator ay implication, tapos tautology siya. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay tautological implication. Yung ginawa ni Sir ay hindi lang basta-basta tautology, ito ay tautological implication. So, ang sobrang haba ng tautological implication, just write TI. Tautological implication ang tawag dyan. Okay? For example tayo. Ito yung gagawin nyo. Uh, isa. Dalawa. Dalawa lang. Papasa yung picture nyan. Pag-usapan natin. Uh, um, pagpapasa muna. Pero ayan, gagawin nyo yan. Okay? Ah... Uh, Next example tayo para makita para makita para makita natin yung TE. Saan ako magbubura? Oh, again, by the way, uh in video to uh, kung magda-notes ka pag once the video is uploaded, tsaka mo na isulat. Burahin ko na yan. Subukan natin yung example to. Dapat sa note ako nag-lecture eh. Kaya lang, na-open ko na dito sa browser. Kaya dito na lang. Nagmamadali kasi ako kanina. Kasi kala ko naiinip na kayo. Kaya ang hirap magbura. Sa, sa note, sa note, ano niya, i-select mo lang lahat yan. Tapos, enter mo lang. Or delete mo lang. Burado na lahat. Next time, sa note na tayo mag -ano. Sa one note, one note. Mas masarap mag-lecture doon. Ngayon lang, hindi na ako nakapag-prepare doon. Dahil nagmamadali akong pasukin yung klase nyo. Okay, so, example number 2. Oh, balik muna ako sa room. Nakakausap lang ako na isa. Uh, let's try igot. Igot? Na naiintindihan ba igot? Ako, sir. Okay, very good ha. Balik ako sa lecture. Salamat. Kung may, kung may tanong... Kung may tanong, just open your mic. Total, konti lang tayo. 
Just open your mic. Bigot, paki-mute na yan ha. Mi-mute na kita. Huwag na yan mute. Okay. May tanong ba? Kung wala, kundi kita. Oh, wala na ha? Okay na. Okay. So, lecture. Example number two. Let's try this one. Mga simple example lang. Oh, maliwanag yun ha. Ang pagiging tautology, absurdity, tsaka contingency, mag-o-observe ko na sa dulo. Ang importante dito, marunong kong gamawa ng truth table. Example tayo. Example tayo. Okay, example 2. Example 2. Example 2. Okay, let's have P... Mabilis na to ha. P, N, Q... And not of not of not be and not q. Uh, uh, I will change my other my example. This is my example. Uh, not P or not Q. Okay, so again, we have P tsaka Q. Mamaya natin papaliwanag kapag tatlo na, mamaya. 1110010. Okay, tanangin mo sarili mo. Kaya mo naman buuin. Yung first conjunct, kaya na. Meron akong P. Meron akong Q. Kung babalikan mo yung nasa taas or memory aid, alam natin that conjunction is true when both conjuncts are true. So, parehas tama. Tama. Hindi parehas. Hindi parehas tama. Hindi parehas tama. Okay. Next. You cannot construct the second... This, uh, you cannot construct yet this second conjunct since wala ka pang not P at wala ka pang not Q. Gawin muna natin yung not P. So, not P given P, the cases of P, this will give you 0, 0, 1, 1. Again, that is the negation of P. How about not Q? Not Q will give you 0, 1, 0, 1. Then, buhay na natin, not P or Q. Not, not P or Q, wala na to. Not P or not Q, by the way. Raise ko Okay, not P or not Q. Kaya ko na to kasi meron na akong not P ito, meron na akong not Q. Or to ha, o, oh, memory aid nyan, disjunction is true when at least one disjunct is true. Wala kang true, so mali ka. Wala kang true, may true ka, so tama na yan. May true ba? Yes. May true ba? Yes. Okay? Ngayon, mag-delete ako para masulat ko ng buo. I will let P and Q as a square. And not P or not Q as triangle. <coughs> so instead of writing the whole, I can write square and triangle. Take note, and to, and to. Asan yung square? Ito yung square. Ito yung square. Ito yung triangle. 1 and 0. Conjunction to ha. If conjunction is true when at least uh, when when both conjuncts are true, magiging tama yung conjunction kapag parehas tama yung conjuncts. So tama, mali, mali. Mali, tama, so mali. Mali, tama, so mali. Mali, tama, so mali. Example of absurdity. That is example of absurdity. Bakit absurdity? Kasi laging mali. Okay. Okay, good. Next is example 3. Ah, bura na ako, bura. Video naman to eh. Okay. 
Ah, okay. I think this will be the my last example. Ah, the second to the last. Okay, so let's have example for contingency. So simply hand lang natin yung example para mabilis lang. So example number three is P implies Q uh, and 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 P. So P chak Q one 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 zero zero one zero zero Kailangan mo ng P implies Q for the first conjunct. For the first conjunct. 1. P implies Q. 1 implies 1 is 1. 1 implies 0 is 0. 0 implies 1 is 1. 0 implies 0 is 1. Next is, hindi na ako mag-delete. May exe naman. P implies Q and P. Kaya na ba? Kaya na. Meron ka, meron ka nito. Meron ka nito. Ito yun. Meron kang P, ayun. So, and then, and then. 1 and 1 is 1. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. So, ito ay hindi tautology kasi hindi pure 1. Hindi rin to absurdity kasi nga hindi pure 0. Ang tawag dito, contingency. Contingency. Okay. Next. Our fourth example, 3 minutes na lang, 1 o'clock na. So, I will solve this for 3 minutes and I will explain your practice. Ay, mabura yan mo na yan. Okay. So, may... Third example is a uh, port. Port na ba? Tama. Port. Example is P implies Q if and only if not Q implies not P. Okay? So, again, we have P tsaka Q. P tsaka Q. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. You can do your P implies Q. Mabilis na tayo kasi alam nyo na. The process, 1. This is 0. All of these are 1. Kasi nga, Implication is false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false only. Otherwise, implication is true. Okay? Next is, you, we need not Q. You can do that because Q is there. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. Next is not P. So that is 0, 0, 1, 1. Next is not Q implies not P. Not Q implies not P. That is 0 implies 0, 1 implies 0, 0 implies 1, 1 implies 1. Okay? Let ako. Mag-let ako. Let. Uh, star, again, is logically equivalent to P implies Q. And my diamond uh, is, is not Q implies not P. So, this is a star if and only if diamond. Diamond. Okay, that's good. Okay, since given naman yung ating, doon ako nagsimula sa biconditional. Okay, ito yung biconditional. Malalaman natin na ang biconditional ay magiging tama kapag parehas ng truth value ang component propositions. Nakasulat yan dito. Biconditional statement is true if the component propositions are logically equivalent to each other. Otherwise, biconditional statement is false. Okay. Oops, sobra. Okay. So, nasan si star? Ito si star. Ito si diamond. Tanong mo sarili mo, parehas ba to? Yes. Kung parehas, one. Parehas ba to? Yes. Logically equivalent sila? One. Are they logically equivalent? Yes. One. Are they logically equivalent? Yes. One. So, this is tautology. Pero... Ito ay tatawagin nating TE. Bakit? Tautological equivalence is a propositional form where the primary operator is by conditional statement and tautology. Ito yung propositional form na ang main operator ay primary operator ay if and only if or by conditional statement na palaging tama. 
So instead of writing tautology, specifically, this is this is tautological equivalence. That is the two cases ng tautology. Kapag tautology, observe mo yung main operator or primary. Kapag, kapag implication, tautological implication. Kapag biconditional statement, tautological equivalence. Kapag hindi yun, wala. Tautology lang. Okay ha? Tautology lang. Okay. Now, pag-usapan natin ngayon kung paano ka magtutruth table kapag ang kaharap mo na ganito. Hindi mo alam to. Bakit? Kasi ito tatlo. Kung bibilangin natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 blank rows. Lahat ng example natin gumalaw sa dalawa, pero papaliwanag ko kung bakit naging walo yan. Okay. Naging walo yan because the number, note natin that the number of rows of truth table is in the form, in the form of, of 2 raised to n where n is the number of distinct propositions propositions in propositional form. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ito yung form na gagamitin mo para malaman mo kung ilang rows yung truth table mo. Now, ano to? 2 raised to n. Ano yung n? Number of distinct propositions. Dito, ang number of distinct propositions or letters, dalawa lang. Kaya 2 raised to 2. Kaya apat. Kaya 1, 2, 3, 4, apat yan, dalawa. Ngayon, you're dealing with 3. In this, your, in this practice set, you, you're dealing with 3. So that is 2 raised to 3. And 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. And that is 8. Kaya 8 yan. Ngayon, sir, paano kami mag-a-assign? Mag-a-assign ka ganito. You are expecting 8 rows here. 8 rows here. 8 rows. So kung 8 rows yan, yung 8 rows, i-divide mo ng 2. So that is 4. Ang ibig sabihin ng 4 na yan, 4 na 1, 4 na 0. So, nasa 4 ka na. Yung 4, i-divide mo ng 2, that is 2. Ibig sabihin yan, dalawang, the next, the next column is dalawang 1, alternately, dalawang 0. Dalawang 1, dalawang 0. Now, nasa 2 ka na. 2 divide 2 is 1. Pag nag-1 na yan, ibig sabihin, from 1, alternate na siya ng 0, 1. Okay? So, that's how to assign. Tapos, gawin mo na yung table. Maliit yung space, maliit. Maglet ka. Pagkatapos mo makuha yung sagot dito or kahit saan dito, kung saan ka matapos, kung kulang, dagdagan mo. Kung kulang, dagdagan mo. Susulat mo naman yan sa white paper. Maglet ka dito, malaki yung space mo dito for let. Sa pag-delete, do not use circle kasi nga may zero tayo. Do not, do not use letters kasi nga may letters tayo. As you observe, I'm using triangle. We cannot encounter that symbol sa uh, uh, pag-aaral. Square, star, Tsaka diamond, you can use flower if you want. You can use ninja turtle if you want. Ikaw bahala. Uh, ikaw ang bahala. Ninja turtle. Kung magaling ka mag-drawing, ikaw bahala. Basta ilalagay mo dito yon ha? Pero wag na, wag, na po, wag na po ganito. Simpleng let lang, ha? Pagkatapos, pagkatapos mo, malalaman mo yan, di ba? Kung tautology ba, absurdity ba, or contingency ba. Lagay mo dito. Kung tautology, Observe ka ng main operator, baka pumasok sa tautological implication or tautological equivalence. Okay, that's our lesson. We're ending now. That's our lesson for today. I hope you understand. Babalik ako ng room. Mag-stop recording muna ako. Sorry.